Hey, what's up guys? Tell me, I hope you're doing great. As I promised you guys that I'll be showing you how to create your own title for your videos in After Effects, which is gonna help you. So as you've seen my trailer on my YouTube channels, and I also created a new one, which we're gonna check now. So we are say, let's have a look at it. All right, I hope you guys enjoy. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna create a new, uh, new object, a new project, cause I don't wanna work in here. It's gonna be quite heavy for me. So we have a new, uh, a new project. We're gonna go for new comp, and then click OK. We're also gonna create a new solid. We're gonna create a new solid, and then we're gonna go to effect, trap code, and we're gonna use a form. And now, now we we're just gonna wait for it to to run and then because it's now it's freezed all right now we're also going to create a new camera we're going to create a new camera and then we can just grab our camera tool and then this is where we have uh, three squares right now so let's go back to the to the form and then let's go to best form we also want to change the best form to string and also the size as we can see it's linked up so we're going to have to use individual and we're gonna bring the size to 430 and also the particles in the y axis we're gonna bring it to 90 we're gonna bring it to 19 all right this is what we have and just a few uh just a few clicks and then you're gonna see what we're gonna have this is gonna help you guys to create anything that you actually have in mind so we're gonna go to the few masters and then we're gonna activate this and then let's just go about five seconds and then just look what we're gonna have right now. And then this is what we're getting. So we're just gonna zoom in a little bit, just not just a little bit. All right, there we go. And then there's these two options that I wanted to show you guys that you can just change the, the looks of all of all this motion that you're seeing right now. We have the force, we have the, the few force here you can change it. Let's just go to vertex ring and see what we get. And then here we're getting a different look. And also we can check out the vectors tube. And here we're also getting something which looks totally different. So what I prefer is we're just gonna stick with this. And there's also these two options that we have here that can help you to create almost anything to bring the size down or to increase the size. So here we're gonna bring this to about two. And also the force region, we're gonna bring it to 50. Just wanna show you guys what, you, what, we, what we can get after hitting these settings. And this is what we have. And if you play this, it seems like all these other squares won't be affected. It's only the, the one in the middle which is being affected. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna leave it this at two and now we're gonna bring this to about 90. All right, so now we're just gonna bring it down just gonna bring it down it's quite huge it's gonna increase it bring it down a little bit i'm also gonna increase this to about five just leave it at five all right so as you can see it's not quite attractive there's nothing good about it let me just bring you i just want to show you guys my screenshot that i have here just go just scroll down for you for you guys to create this motion this uh depth of field we're gonna have to use the camera so let's just go to the camera it's aa on your keyboard and we're gonna have to activate the delta field 
just activate that and then you just bring this in the middle and then we're gonna have to increase our pictures to about 450 and then now we have our focus distance so let's just see what we can get from here all right and then this is what we're getting and what I love about it, you don't have to use any keyframes, it's just going. But there's one thing that I want to show you guys is that you can use our keyframes on the focus distance. Let's just uh, have our first keyframe there and then bring this to about here. And then this is what we got now. So what we're going to do now, there's also a few settings that I wanted to show you guys. Let's just go back to our solid. And now let's just go to the, we have this one, the particles here. And there's also one thing that I forgot to mention is this. You can also use, we have the opacity and we also, you, we also have the brightness. So let's just bring down the opacity and see what we have. And this is why I really love using the opacity. It's quite amazing. And you can also use the brightness. You're also going to have a different look. All right. So I prefer going to brightness with opacity. And there's also one thing that you can do is to use this. Just gonna bring a little bit. Let's just preview that and see what we have. All right, let's just preview that. And this is what we're getting. And I really hope you guys are enjoying what I'm actually showing you guys. To help you guys create almost anything that you have in mind, all the ideas that you just stick in your brain, you can create almost anything. Just try to go out there and try something new. Well, I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit, and I'm also gonna increase my my focus distance. I'm just gonna increase the blur to about one. All right, just delete this keyframe here and delete this one as well. Just let's just play a bit with our focus distance. All right, so let's go back to our solid. And then when I have to go to the particles, I just want to change the color as well. Let's go to our particles. And we can also do some uh, size random just to have different size, different particles. And then we're also going to have to change the color. I'm gonna change the color, just gonna bring a bit here. Just wait for it. All right, this is what we have, and this is so amazing. So uh, just wanna show you guys something uh, Something that you can do if you wanna add text. Let's just uh, create a new text. You can just type anything that you have in mind. I'm just gonna go with motion. Just gonna go with motions and I'm also gonna increase the size of this. So I'm gonna bring it here, motions, and then just gonna increase the space and also gonna make it a bit small. Alright, there we have our motions and also some effect that you can use to animate this. We're gonna go for opacity. Just uh, make some space that I can just do a little bit of uh, animation. We have our uh, and we have animator, so we're just gonna bring it down. Go to advance. And then we're gonna change this to ramp out. And then for randomness, we're gonna bring it to on. And then the amount, we're just gonna bring it down. Go to about 100, just leave it at 100. Just, just wanna see what I'm doing now. We wanna bring the opacity to zero. As you can see that, uh, we're getting a different motion to it. The opacity at zero. So we're also going to play with this one. All right. So now we're going to have a keyframe about here. We're going to have a keyframe here. Okay, a keyframe. And then just bring it about somewhere here. And then we're also going to use a keyframe for opacity. We're going to go to about here and then bring it to 100%. And then let's just preview that. Alright, let's preview that. Alright, this is amazing guys. 
so there's also one thing i want to show you guys before we end this tutorial so we're just gonna duplicate this you're just gonna duplicate this I'm gonna bring it about here as everything just showed up as you can see it's just increases a bit so what we're gonna do now we're gonna use this uh this effect i think it's a uh, full color gradient we're gonna use this this also help you to add colors different ways and then it just up to which color you want to go for i'm just going to close all this down so for this one you can use just any color that you have in mind i think i'm going to go for a bit blue and also this one maybe red i don't know just just up to you man All right, and now we're gonna change the mode to screen, and then this is what you get. So you can create almost anything just using this uh these particles. There's a lot of ways that you can use. So what we're gonna do now, I just wanna show you guys uh the last thing that we're gonna do now is that we're going to duplicate this. Let's just duplicate that. We're gonna open this, so now we have our first comp, and then we have our second comp as well. So I'm just gonna bring this down for now because it's quite heavy. And I'm gonna use a null object. Let's just create a new null object. Make it a 3D mode and just gonna bring it here and link our camera to the null object. And then hit R on your keyboard for rotations. And then from here you can also add more things to it. Let me just bring my camera. I just hit A on your keyboard. I just wanna see what I'm doing. Quite crazy now. I'm just gonna bring this to zero. So one to zero as well. Just wanna see which one can Alright. Just see what we get. So we're gonna have it about here just kill a little bit so let's go to the camera we're gonna have to activate our delta field and this is what we get so let's just play a little bit of the focus distance and then we're gonna create something like this and then let's just do a little preview for this one as well all right let's preview that and this is what we're getting so it's just up to you guys what you want to create i just wanted to show you guys this little technique and i'm also going to bring the size to make it a little bit big i'm going to come here just going to bring the size um i think it, yeah i'm just going to bring it to about 200. i'm going to bring the size to about 200. just going to wait for it to load and then this is what we get so now let's go back to our camera, hit A on keyboard, and then let's go to our focus distance. All right, so now you have a different look. This is amazing. This is quite amazing, guys. I really love this one. So just gonna bring it here. And now we have a new motion titles. This is quite nice. So we're also going to bring this up. The one that I just unchecked was going to bring it up. Just going to wait for it to load. And this is what you have. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If there's anything else that you want to know, which I didn't show you guys, please don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment down below. And uh, this is Infinity Copilot. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.